Welcome to Lanzarote in the Canary Islands. I'm here for a European Space Agency meeting of the Cluster mission. And one of the things being presented is how the sounds of Earth's foreshock get modified by magnetic clouds, a type of solar storm. And actually, they end up sounding a bit like canaries. <laughs> I've talked before about the foreshock region on this channel. It's basically formed because Earth's magnetosphere is an obstacle to the solar wind, and the solar wind is supersonic. That means you get a shock wave forming around it called the bow shock. That name comes from the bow waves or sometimes shock waves that form ahead of ships as they pile through the water. It pushes that fluid out of the way, and that's exactly what happens to the solar wind. But shockwaves in plasmas are actually really good at accelerating some particles as well, and that's what allows some of them to escape back into the solar wind, forming this foreshock region. And that foreshock region is filled with not only those particles, but the waves and sounds that it drives, forming something like a mobile field in space. But a colleague of mine wanted to look at what happens when you change the solar wind and you experience these things called magnetic clouds. They're just big bundles of magnetic field that get ejected from the sun. And they can cause some of the most intense space weather here on Earth. Now, from theory, we knew that the increased magnetic field should drive the frequency of those sounds up. But actually what we found is not only do those sounds go up, they become far more complicated. No longer do you have one nice tone whooshing through you've got a whole set of different frequencies going off at the same time. We basically found that the particle reflection that happens at the shock becomes more complicated. You get lots of different populations of particles and they individually drive lots of different types of sounds. Hence why the foreshock during magnetic clouds sounds a bit like canaries. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I've got plenty more videos on the sounds of space and why you should care about them. So check some of those out.